So learning video editing might be one of the most complicated things that someone can learn in terms of content creation and just creating videos in general. But that's why I'm here. I'm going to be trying to simplify that process as much as possible and teach you guys how to edit in a free software. So that way you literally don't even have to make an investment when you start. You can learn how to do it. And then if you find that you're getting bored, you can literally stop. You're not losing any money from it. But it's going to be my goal to actually help you guys learn the monetizable skill of video editing because it's very valuable nowadays. And I think a lot of people overlook it. So I'm going to be taking the next little bit to show you guys the ins and the outs of DaVinci Resolve 18. Free software you can use for your video editing today. But with all that being said, like, comment, subscribe if this video helps you out. And let's get right into it. All right, guys. So here I am on my computer. All we got to do to start is look up DaVinci Resolve Download. We go here to DaVinci Resolve Download 18. Literally go like this. And then you can just press download for Windows and fill out all your information and download it for free. Literally just like that. It's super simple. It takes like less than a minute just to get it downloaded on your computer. Now from there, all we got to do is just search up DaVinci Resolve, open it, let it do its thing. And then once it's opened, I'll actually see you guys inside the software. But quickly before I actually get into the tutorial, I want to showcase my all-in-one editing pack that literally is less than the price of a Big Mac at McDonald's. So inside of the edit pack right here, we can see that it highlights everything that it has, such as project files. By the way, this works for After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Sony Vegas. So literally any editing software that you use, you're covered with this editing pack. we got over edit overlays, sound effects, skin glows, 40 plus After Effects, FX presets, 45 plus DaVinci Resolve, 14 for Premiere, 14 for Vegas, different sound effects for, you know, different video game guns, cinematic SFX, whooshes, all that stuff. We got 10 After Effects highlight project files in there, DaVinci Resolve, more and more and more, including motion graphics, color corrections, practice clips, render settings, and it's compatible with literally everything. And talking about it is one thing, but literally showing you guys is another. Just look at how many things are in here, dude. It's ridiculous. We got all these different presets in here, we got these in here these are all davinci resolve there's all these after effects ones premiere you know we got these project files in here motion graphics stuff in here sound effects if you guys want to check it out it's going to be at the very top of the description to actually buy it's going to be only five dollars the price of a big mac and you know it's a great reinvestment because you'll be able to make money off of the edits that you create with this editing pack well, let's get back to the video i hope you guys do enjoy okay so once davinci resolves booted up we're just going to go to new project we're going to call it davinci tutorial november sample or something it's november 1st when i'm recording this video that's why i have the idea to actually do that so we're actually just going to go to the edit tab here go up to the top left file project settings and change our frame rate to actually what we want it to be for that final video so ideally you want it to be 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second for modern videos they tend to be 60 frames per second just make sure your resolution's on 1920 by 1080 as well that's a super important factor we're just going to press save here and then what we got to do from there is actually import all our footage so i'm looking towards my second monitor right now i'm just going to find a sample piece of video let's say you know i have this video right here i don't even know what this is from but it's from a video i recorded it, I think so we're gonna use that so we're just gonna drag that into our actual media pool if you don't have the media pool your screen looks something like this you just need to click up here in the top left and it will actually open up these two windows now the first little skill quote unquote I'm gonna be teaching you guys is how to actually cut using the blade tool so all you got to do for this is come through by pressing B on your keyboard to switch to the actual blade tool and you're gonna come through and get rid of all of your dead space so you can literally click on wherever you want to actually split that layer you can come through all the way like this split it right here split it right here here let's put it right here and this is super useful you know if you mess up in your videos you want to cut out you know those bloopers those mistakes you want to just have that final video cut for example you literally just come through click on each one click delete click delete click delete click delete click delete and then you will literally just move all of these over to actually get that final cut version of your video that is error free okay so next up the next step after you actually cut out all of your mistakes and errors is i'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually j cut j cuts a super valuable tool because it actually allows you to increase the flow of your videos makes it sound a lot more natural versus just having those straight cuts and then almost having like those pauses in between takes so literally to do this you can imagine you have your clean cut all the way through here you're just going to take your video layer drag it up a layer and then drag it over to the left so these two overlap and then what you're going to do is actually follow through with that next layer underneath and you're actually going to do something that looks like this and you're actually going to do something that looks a little like this so you're going to drag that layer over so this video actually starts talking at the same time and this audio kind of overlays a little bit so i literally just do this for my entire video i come through I go like this, I shorten it down, I come through, I go like this, do this, shorten it down. And I'll literally do that throughout my entire video. And that's just how you do that. Now, next up, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually utilize slow zooms because this is a super important retention 
an engagement strategy and tactic, I guess. So for this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come through to whatever layer you wanna add a zoom on. If you want to add a zoom on an extended portion, but they're separate clips, you can literally come through and compound clip it by going like this, selecting all of them, compound clip, create. And let me just show you how to do the zoom. So starting off, we can see our zoom values are right here. So obviously we're gonna be changing these. The keyframe, we're just gonna click on this dot right here and have our value set to one. Go to the very end, change this to 1.1.1. And we can see that throughout this video, it's actually gonna zoom us in while we consistently go throughout, which is, you know, a great little engagement tactic to actually implement in our video. It's gonna keep people engaged a lot longer. There's something for them to actually look at. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Now moving on to actually subtitling your videos. This is gonna be also a very important factor. So to do this, we come over here to our effects library, go to titles, drag on a little text layer like this, and we can change the font to something like Akira, Arial Bold, Helvetica. I use, mostly use Akira for all of my subtitles because it's like the best font for like tech YouTubers and stuff like that. So I'm bringing the size a little bit down. I'm gonna bring the positioning a little bit down. And then what I'm gonna do is if we imagine we say a sentence like, yo guys, what's up? Let's say we split this into four forward. So yo guys, what's up? Yo guys, what's up? I guess it's one less. So imagine each one of these little mini layers is a word. We're just gonna be changing each one to actually reflect that. So yo, come through here. Guys, come through here. What's come through here, up. And again, we're using B or the blade tool to actually cut this layer up into its own parts. Now, DaVinci also offers individual like effects to actually add to your text while you actually come through. So for example, stroke, you can adjust in the actual inspector tab itself by dragging this little slider right here. Drop shadow, you can also change by changing the X and Y values for actually adding on that drop shadow. So for drop shadow, I typically do something like 10 negative three for all of my drop shadows. And I'll have my opacity dragged up to 100 with my blur dragged down to around 10. And I like the way that that looks just because it looks pretty, you know, modernized. It looks good. I add that to all my short form videos, my long form videos, all that. And then what we can do is just come through and literally copy paste those layers. So we go 10, negative three, drag this down to like 10, drag that up to 100. And our drop shadow has almost been copied for all the subtitles. We come through, copy that for all of them. Or what you could do is just apply it to one big layer, cut it up and then change the words from there. That's a quicker way to do it. I don't even know why I didn't do that, but um, that's what I normally do for that. Now, lastly, I'm gonna be quickly showing you guys transitions and let me actually find a second piece of footage to sh clearly show the transition point. So we can see if we have this one clip where I'm in a blue shirt and then we have this clip where I'm in a red shirt and we wanna transition between the two seamlessly, I'm gonna quickly show you how you actually um, do that. So we can see that right here, this is gonna be the transition point where it cuts from one clip to the next. So we're gonna quickly add a marker by pressing M on our keyboard. Let me quickly just drag that over. So we're gonna actually bring that marker to that transition point right there. So DaVinci offers a bunch of different free transitions you can add, like such as a cross dissolve. You literally drag that on directly and that will cut between the two just like that. Or what you can do is you can do like a non-additive dissolve. There's some movement ones like a left to right, zoom in, zoom out, rotation, all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually do a custom. One. So for this, we're gonna go to effects drag in an adjustment clip right over top of here from our effects library go into the fusion tab right here we're going to go actually find the free transition presets i'll have in the description in the google drive if you want to check that out and we're going to drag one of those in just like this your menu should look a some, little something like this now all we got to do is click on this and press shift on our keyboard at the same time to actually drag it into here and make it part of this we're going to go into the keyframe menu press in this little arrow thing you can see the keyframes are over here on the right so we're going to drag this over to the left press in the zoom thing right here expand this drag all these over and then we're going to find where we have that third keyframe so we can see these four little hashes one two three four we're gonna find that third one right there so which is this one go to the edit tab add a marker and then we're gonna line up that marker with the marker on our timeline that's how we actually add our little transition like that let me quickly change the playback resolution so you guys can quickly see what that looks like live so there we go we got the little swipe transition like that and i'll also have you know up down left right zoom in and out in the description as well so you can literally use all of those for 100 but if you guys did enjoy you learned something new make sure to like comment subscribe i appreciate you guys watching my tutorials giving me positive feedback on all these videos if you guys have something you want to see on the channel in the future make sure to let me know down below in the comment section what you want to see and hopefully i'll get around to making a tutorial on it i'm gonna have a video showcasing premiere pro in the next little bit because i have been using it a lot recently so if you have any ideas on what you want to see on premiere pro let me know down below in the comments as well make sure to like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in a new video on the channel